Hello guys and welcome back to another Jamesy Tag YouTube video. In this video I'm going to go over how to configure router on a stick on Packet Tracer so that your uh, computers on separate VLANs can communicate with each other on one single layer 3 router. So if you want to learn how to do that make sure you open up your Packet Tracer tool and get ready for this. To go over router on a stick briefly, it is a solution to a problem with networking. Let's say you had 5 VLANs um, and you had one layer 3 router. In the past, you would have to have one link to one default gateway. What router on a stick does is allows um, things called sub interfaces to allow one single link to allow multiple VLANs, up to 50 VLANs on one router to communicate instead of having 50 individual links with 50 different IP addresses. It is just one link with up to 50 IP addresses on sub interfaces. So if you want to learn how to configure this, which you will need to learn how to configure this for the CCNA exam. So stay tuned for that and let's get right into that. So I am in Cisco Packet Tracer. To keep it simple, we're going to keep this to two separate VLANs. Well, actually it's going to be three VLANs because we have a manage management VLAN on the switch and router. So I've already configured the VLANs, the access ports and the trunk ports. So if you don't know how to do that, you will need to learn how to make uh, configure basic VLAN configurations to get started with this. So once you have your VLANs configured, just for example, I can go ahead and ping um, 10.3, so, uh, 10 which would be this computer over here. Obviously, if you're pinging within single VLANs, you won't need a default gateway. So if I could be able to ping from uh, 192.168.10.4 to 10.3. So as you guys can see, I already have this local connection going. And I could go on this computer right here, ping 192.168.20.3, which is, I believe, this computer. Yeah, so 20.3. So we have those two VLANs that can communicate locally. But let's say I wanted to communicate with PC1 over here, I would have to... I could try to ping it, but as you guys will see, it is going to say it's going to time out because um, there's no default gateway for these devices yet. So let's go ahead and configure that. So you have your basic uh, 2901 router. Um, so the link we're using for this is G00. So first step you want to do is to turn the G00 port on, which it already is for me, but let's just turn it off for example. It'd be a red link like this. You would just go ahead and put the no shutdown command, which will put that link on manually on. <clears throat> and now to configure the individual VLANs, what we're going to do is do interface G00. But instead of just doing G00, we're going to put a dot. And let's say we want to configure VLAN 10. So we're going to put dot 10. So pretty much you put the interface name and then dot and then whatever VLAN number that it is. So dot VLAN 10, and as you guys see, it will say interface G00.10 is state to up. And now you may try to do the IP address 192.168.10.0.255.255.255.0, but when you try this, it will say configuring IP routing on a LAN sub interface is only allowed if the sub interface is already configured as part of an IEEE 802.10 802.1q or ISL VLAN. So to do this, we are going to do the command encapsulation dot one Q and then whatever VLAN number that you're using. So for this example, it would be 10. So pretty much what this does is it allows a logical link, which would make it to where you can have an IP address on or multiple IP addresses on one link. So now we can go ahead and do the command IP address and then the default gateway. And just, I always like to do this after I've configured interfaces. It's always good practice if you want this uh, interface to be an upstate. Just do a no shutdown after whatever you're doing. So th that's as simple as it is right there. That is one interface down. So let's go ahead and do the next one. So interface G00. Dot, I cannot type today. Dot 20. As you can see, same, same thing. And to save some time, you can go ahead and do the up arrow till you get to the encapsulation dot one Q. Boom, just change it to 20. And then change the IP address. And we're just going to put a 2 right here. No shutdown. And there's the second interface, just like that. And it's obviously a lot more simple if you do this all at the same time rather than configuring each VLAN by itself. And now we're going to do the management VLAN. So we're going to do uh, int 0.1, which is my management, management VLAN, which is not safe practice. Just put that out there 
Um, but for this simple tutorial, we're just going to keep it simple. So now we could do in cap dot one Q one, and then we can put the IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot 10 or sorry, not 10 dot one, two five two five five dot zero, no shutdown. And if this works properly, now our devices should be able to ping, uh, di uh, the other VLAN. So let's go ahead and try 20.3. It might say timed out for the first uh, message. Let's see. Timed out. And then, then now we're getting replies from the other device. And the reason why I did VLAN 1 is so I can SSH into my switch and router. So let's see if I can do that. Yep. Looks like I can. So now I can get into my switch and router from the computers, which is a lot better than having to, in a real world situation, console into each switch and router to do these initial configurations. So now I can get in. So now I should be able to exit. And then let's try SSH minus L admin 192.168.1.1. And yeah, so we can get into the router and the switch. So pretty much that is how you do router on a stick on Packet Tracer. So it's a very easy and quick tutorial here. I definitely plan on doing more Cisco tutorials in, in the future. I definitely want to do inner VLAN routing, which is a similar process to this, but it will be a layer three switch instead of a uh, layer three router. So that's going to be coming next. And then obviously the old method, which is legacy, would be using multiple links instead of one, lo uh, one link with multiple logical interfaces. So yeah, that is it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or have any suggestions for future videos, put it down in the comments below. If you guys have any, have any critiques to the way I configured this or maybe how I explained this, or if you have any questions about the configurations I did, make sure to leave a comment down below because I try to respond to every single comment that I have. I appreciate the support that this channel has been getting. We just hit 300 subscribers. And maybe when we hit 500 or 1,000, I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna do a video talking about my goals of this channel and my IT career so far and what got me into IT. So that video might be coming up soon when I hit either one of those milestones. I'll have to think about it more. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Check out um, my link tree if you guys want to see my credentials, my LinkedIn, all that stuff. If you guys need to message me, LinkedIn's a good option or my email. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.